Hi guys, welcome back. So hopefully you've been working on the notes and you've put all the notes together and you're starting to play it in time and starting to get the gist of that first riff. Now we're gonna talk about the technique behind making it sound massive, that kind of Stevie Ray Vaughan style, almost, um, attack on the guitar, which John Mayer does beautifully, might I say, some of the best I've heard. So basically what you wanna kind of get used to is strumming it. Okay, that's, that's your first thing to understand, that all these notes that we're playing here, they're all just within your kind of strumming, your up and down strumming, okay? And generally, apart from a few exa um, kind of standout bits, which we'll talk about, you just keep a consistent um, scratchy, scratchy on the guitar, okay? So this is just muting the strings. So all I'm doing is I'm resting my hands on all six strings so that when I hit the strings, you get that sound. Okay, so for me, really, the first thing, because this is a tricky thing to cover, okay, and when you're one-to-one -one with a student, even then it's tricky, so this is going to be quite hard, but if you try and do it kind of interactively with me, then this, you might find this a bit easier. But essentially, the first thing I want you to do is have the melody in your head, so this bit. Okay, so be singing that. Now, do this with me, so just, just um, kind of take the guitar, mute the strings, and just go like this. So you get that sound, okay? And then in your head, sing the riff. So bam, 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 bam. Now, let me just say one quick thing. It doesn't have to be in tune. <laughs> like mine was nowhere near the notes. But for me, the key thing is the rhythm and that I kind of know what I'm talking about. So uh, I apologize for the terrible singing. But this is how we're going to do it. So bam, bam. Okay, so some of you might find that really hard at first, and if you do, you have to be able to do that first, okay? Some of you find that piece of cake, okay? So whichever one it is, make sure you can do that first, because that will allow us to understand where we have to insert the notes. Okay, and I want you to all appreciate that at first, when you first start to do this, it's going to sound a little bit like a mess. Okay, because then all you've got to do is then add in the notes that you're playing. Now, we've just got to quickly run something by you first. When you go like this, for example, okay, you need to be able to hit all six strings and still just hear that, okay, as if it was but thicker, right? So your first, your second task, I should say, is just take that first lick. So after the, that lick there, that little note, um, just try and do that whilst hitting all six strings. And notice that my hand position is the correct way to do that. So I'm blocking um, the kind of low strings off with my thumb. On the high end, I'm blocking these strings off with my first finger and second finger and third finger. Just doing anything to kind of just deaden the strings, to block the strings off, so that when I just press down on this D string, that's all I hear, okay? So that's a, a pretty big challenge in itself, okay? And typically, if I'm there with a student who's never done that before, we spend almost an entire lesson just trying to adjust the fingers. At first, it might sound a bit like this. And then we just gradually, gradually, gradually get there with it. Okay, but if you want to kind of supercharge this, then what I suggest is accepting that the riff is going to sound horrible and messy and awful for at least a week, maybe longer. Okay, it all depends on, on you, how much you practice. But um, what I like to do is kind of just try and get that rhythm going and then just try and insert this. Okay, so like this, for example. So we're singing it first, aren't we? So we're going boom, ba dum, ba dum, 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 boom, ba dum. Now don't let that right hand stop, okay? Don't let it stop at all and try and just insert what you've learned with your left hand. Now we'll slow it down. So we're at this pace. Okay, ready? We're gonna try it. After four, it's gonna sound awful. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, 
Makes sense, hopefully. Um, that's, if it sounded like that, then yeah, pat yourself on the back. That's incredible. If you start at that level, that's amazing. It will sound a lot worse than that. Probably something along these lines. And it will just all go to pop. Okay, but this is very much a, a starting block to where you kind of need to be. So just, just try and do the two things separately. So you just get the arm moving, get that going, get that sound, that muted sound correct. And maybe you just wanna maybe start with the first two licks. So just this. Can we get that clean? So we're just going. Okay. In terms of specifics, you should be going down, down, up. Okay? Down, down, up. Yeah? Down, down, up. Imagine when you're learning rhythm patterns. Certainly on the courses that we teach in the beginners level, we talk about rhythm patterns. Where we learn down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? Well, this is a rhythm pattern. Down, down, up. Okay? You've just got to learn it like that and understand that you're just constantly trying to do the right hand as a rhythm rather than a single lead note. So it's very, very tricky stuff. Even if you're the best lead guitar player in the world, this is a different kettle of fish. So as I go through it, let's just go through it again, nice and slow. Okay, so down, down, up. Okay, and so on, all right? So, you've got a lot of different ways to kind of approach it. I do appreciate it. it's, a, it's a really tricky thing. And if I was you, you know, for, first of all, are you able to just match those two things together? So can, can you hear the, the, the riff in your head and can you still play the beat with your right hand? That's your first step. Then it's, it's can you actually play a clear note whilst hitting all six strings? If the answer to both those questions is yes, then I dive in like we just did, okay? If the answer is no, then you need to work on those two things separately first and then try and do it like that. So I appreciate this may be a bit more of a long-term project than some of the other John Mayer stuff, but think about it. If you get this right, then you've pretty much accessed the whole world of Red Hot Chili Peppers, Stevie Ray Vaughan, all the big old kind of blues players that play with that rhythmical style. It's all gonna make a whole lot more sense. So if you put the time in now, it's really gonna pay off. Now. Practice that, see how you get on with it. Again, loop it against the tab, and then in the next lesson, we're gonna start looking at the licks.